Okay, today we are talking about potato slips, making your own potato slips for sweet potatoes and then transplanting them in the ground from the different stages. This is stage one. You get a sweet potato. You can buy them in your local grocery store. You stick some toothpicks in it and you leave it sit in a cup with water. Um, this one's been sitting for a while. I've got quite a few slips off of this. And uh, it's actually on my potting bench. Please don't mind the mess, but it's a potting bench that gets a lot of use. I got some uh, over here. I have some garlic chives that are getting ready to be uh, planted. Anyway, um, back to the sweet potatoes. So eventually you pull this off. The roots make these slips grow out of the side. You pull this slip off. And what I do is I stick it, i got a couple other things I'm growing in here, but I just stick it down in the dirt, make a little hole, and let it get its roots. I, keep, I always make sure that there's a couple of leaves on it, and eventually it'll turn into this. Um, this one's been down in there, it was actually a slip that came off that exact same potato. And now I've let it sit in here for about... I don't know. A week and a half. And look at all those roots on there. And what I eventually do is I plant it out in my garden. Take a walk out here. Um, let's take a look at... Here's a sweet potato here. Actually, there's my nice little... Um, here's a sweet potato here. I just have it growing along the side of the fence. So I would just take this and plant this down in the ground. I'm actually probably going to plant this one out in my little mini food forest out here. Um, so this guy, I actually planted one of my slips out here earlier over by my guava. I have one. My guava looks pretty sad. It needs the rain. I didn't water it good enough when I planted it yesterday, but you hear that? That's thunder in the sky. Not too bad, but I can hear it rumbling out there. But anyway, so here's one that I planted. Sweet potato. It's actually from that very same exact potato. And uh, this one will be going in the ground, maybe over by my moringa. And that's it. You know, you just put it in the ground and then eventually... You will have some potatoes underneath the ground, and that's an easy way to make your own slips. You don't have to buy them at the store that way, and I probably got from that one potato five or six slips off of it, and this is, it's really, doesn't take a whole lot of effort, and it's definitely cheaper than buying uh, already started slips and planting them in the ground. Then you can get different varieties. You can get purple ones, you can get um, the standard, whatever you want. Organic is always best, and uh, that's all I got. I'm Melissa, and I'm out. Recycle, reuse, and repurpose.